hello, hello. This is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere. And again, I'm sorry for that beep. I am still getting used to. This is this is an old text game, so it's not necessarily used to some of these key commands I have to use. And we are returning to Zork Zero. All righty. Now. <clears throat> Now, as I first explained, we just got back to uh, the game, and we have found, let's see, and we had found the, uh, <clears throat> the button. So now, I'm going to read the calendar. calendar again this is your lives of the 12 flathead calendars which you can find in your zork zero packaging now of course this is from back in the day luckily I have uploaded all these files to my uh, <clears throat> Google Drive so I can read through them here once it opens on the tablet. <laughs> ah, yes, we have so much to do here today. Well, hopefully. So I'm going to read the calendar, opening it up here. Okay, the flathead calendar. The year 18, what is 883? Okay, 12 heads. Ah, dimwit flathead. John D. Flathead. I don't know, I wonder they're called Flathead. Stonewall Flathead. John Johann Sebastian Flathead. J. Piermont Flathead. Huh. Thomas Alpha Flathead. <laughs> Leonardo Flathead. Lucretia Flathead. Oh my goodness. Ralph Waldo Flathead. <laughs> Suspender 1883. Uh, John Paul Flathead. Frank Lloyd Flathead. Babe Flathead. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can tell we're in for a treat here. Alrighty. <laughs> now. So obviously we've, we've looked at our calendar, so there's some sort of information that we need on there. The secret wing. Oh. Fun facts for suspender. Oh, I didn't see that part. So let's see, I gotta look at that one again. So we're gonna look at that again, and look at that again, and look at that again. So it's gonna, probably gonna tell us where we find this, uh, Where we're supposed to find that auger, of course. Some experts claim that Dimwood Flathead could access a secret wing of his castle by sitting on his favorite throne and snapping his fingers. Oh, oh that's an interesting thing. So we'll have to use that at some point. All right. So, let me get back here. Snapping our fingers, okay. All right, so let's go north. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I want to look at that painting. These are favorite portraits of the 12 flatheads, including his own self-portrait. Okay, let's look at the rebus. Oh! Oh, well, I don't know. All right. All right, so we now saw something, so let's go uh, north again. Let's head north again. We are on the balcony. So let's go down. And we are now in the great hall. South, south. Okay, we're in the throne room. Let's set to 
sit on throne. You are now on the small throne. Now let's snap fingers. Behind the throne, accompanied by a puff of dust, a secret passage grinds open, leading south into darkness. Hey, we're up to 18. That's great. Oh, get off throne. See, this game don't assume anything. You are in a secret passage running north and south. Although no one has entered this secret passage in years, a lit candle is mounted here, its flame dancing shadows across the e uneven walls. Hmm. Well, I'd be a fool not to take that candle. You pick up the candle. Because if I go farther, I might go into darkness. And if I go into darkness, you could get attacked by a Gru. Secret passage from the north ends here at this east-west corridor. Oh. My tea. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go west. Four building. The secret passage from the east ends here. An easily defensible walkway rises into the keep to the southwest. Well, let's just go southwest. Donjon. Ah, dungeon. You are now on the lowest level of the castle's keep. A stone stair winds up into the keep, and a sloping passage leads northwest or no, leads little no, 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 leads northeast. Oh. Hmm. Okay, going up. This is the king's solar. Where he would bathe and dress and meet his most trusted advisors and intimate guests. And dim lights enter through narrow, slitted windows. The solar has obviously lain unused for, my, for many decades. The circular stair continues up and down. And a doorway leads west, sitting on a cushioned windowed seat, illuminated by a shaft of sunlight, rests an ancient iron key. You know what, I'm going to do this, if I remember the command right, verbose. Maximum verbosity. That means now we'll repeat everything. Because seeing just the words probably will throw some people off, might throw some people off who view this. I don't want to do that. Okay, take the key. Sitting on a cushioned window seat illuminated by a shaft of sunlight rests an ancient iron key. Get it! You begin reaching for the key. You suddenly notice a wiry fellow with an outrageous costume and a feral grin. I am the jester of the castle, and I may pester, I may hassle. And I often speak in rhyme, for it helps to pass the time. He snatches the key, be, key before you can take it. Before you get this key, you must answer this riddle for me. The gesture poses theatrically. You can find me at the beginning of youth, in the center of every eye, and at the end of eternity. What am I? Okay, this is a riddle. And believe it or not, the this is this can be confounding if you hear it, not so much if you see it. You can find me at the beginning of youth, in the center of every eye, and at the end of eternity. What am I? Well, that's simple. You're the letter Y. Jester grins and tosses you the key. Way to be! Here's the key! Jester gives a cheerful wave of farewell and vanishes, saying, See you in the funny papers. Well, 
Our score keeps going up here. All right. All right, let's get the key. You already have the iron key. The wind blows a colorful piece of newspaper into view. It's a funny paper. Okay. Let's head west. Dimwit's room. You stare around in awe and as you realize that you are within the private bedroom of Lord Dimwit Flathead. The canopied bed alone is larger than most of the farms in your home province. Light seeps in through slitted windows and doorways lead east and south. Okay. Let's go south. This is a small closet. Well, it's small by the standards of this castle. In a pinch, you could probably sleep a few regiments. The only exit is north. You can see a glove and cloak here. Get all. You pick up the glove, you pick up the coat. Cloak. Okay. We got that. Now let's wear that glove. You are now wearing the glove. <laughs> uh, you just gotta love it. Okay. North. Okay. East. Solar. And now we go, I think, uh, down, I think. Down. Northeast. Poor building. Okay, let's see. East, northeast. East. East. Top of stairs. Oh, a secret passage from the west ends here at the top of these dark, cobwebby stairs. Hmm. All right, let's go down. I mean, it's the only thing I can do. You are in the center of a gloomy north-south passage. A crude stairway leads upwards. Go south. Dungeon! Oh, now this is, this is a real dungeon. Okay. A century worth, a century's worth of prisoners have languished in this dismal prison. In addition to a hole in the floor, passages lead north, southeast, southeast, and southwest. I'm going to go down. Oubliette. You're trapped in a narrow prison cell accessible only from above. The upper portion of the cell is lost in gloom. The floor is muddy and you sink almost to your knees. The last prisoner in the Oubliette must have been a sailor. An old seaman's cap lies, in discard, lies discard in the corner. Get cap. Pick up the seaman's cap. You are now wearing the just seaman's cap. The jester appears. Don't scream or shout. I'll get you out. But first, my thirst for a riddle must be twiddled. <laughs> the jester coughs lightly and begins i look like my brother we have the same father and mother we're identical in every way we were born on the very same day i'm younger by seconds but as everyone reckons i'm not a twin and never have been what am i hmm. ah this is tricky I look just like my brother. We have the same father and mother. We're identical in every way. We were born on the very same day. I'm younger by seconds, but as everyone reckons, I'm not a twin and never have been. What am I? Well, it's rare, but there have been identical triplets. In other words, answer triplet. The jester solemnly shakes your hand, and you feel yourself rising out of the oubliette. <laughs> oh. Okay, so let's head... Let's 
Vengeance head southwest. Uh, torture chamber. This room contains all your standard torture devices. An Iron Maiden, a water chamber, a snake pit, a comfy chair, and so forth. Oh, yes. The comfy chair is used by the Spanish Inquisition. See, they didn't show up. I was expecting them. Okay. Well, let's open the devices. We're looking for something. Iron Maiden. You hear a ticking sound. Uh-huh. I know, and with it, the ticking grows louder. Hmm. Open water chamber. It seems to be controlling your heartbeat. Open snake pit. As you open the snake pit, a metronome falls from the shadowy recesses of the ceiling and lands with a muffled thud in the center of the room. Thankfully, the fall seems to have shut it off. Well, let's get that metronome. I want to look at this metronome. I can't look at it because it is not... Now let's look at our inventory. You are carrying a metronome, a cloak, an iron key, a candle providing light, a bag, a scepter, a scrap of parchment, and a calendar. You're wearing a seaman's cap and, glo and a glove. It's probably none of my business, but when you wear that single glove, you resemble singer Michael Flathead, formerly of the Flathead Five. Ow. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's head back to the entrance hall. North. Ow. Well, that means I gotta go uh, northeast. North. Uh, what we gotta do? Go up, I think. Uh, I go, uh, up. West. Then we go north. North, 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 north. Okay, the entrance hall. Okie dokie. Doorbell on the inside of the doorway. Well, ring doorbell. Ding dong. The jester appears. If you're quick as a fiddle and answer this riddle, you'll get what you're hoping. The gate will be open. The jester clears his throat. Some say I fly, but I'm not a bird. I'm often wasted, or so I've heard. So I go on endlessly. There's never enough of me. What am I? Well, <clears throat> fly, not a bird, often wasted. And although I go on endlessly, there's never enough of me. I think we should all know this one. Time. This time I'm going to answer time. The portcullis creaks open. Friend or foe, you're free to go. The jester yawns and says, Think I'll catch some winks. Nighty night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. As the jester vanishes, you hear the clicking of giant mandibles. That's disturbing. All right. With a flurry of its powerful hairy legs, the bed bug scuttles over to block your way. Uh -oh. oh, great. Okay. 
me get rid of this thing. Yawn. That was all the bed bug needed to see. It curls up into a well-armed piece of sleeping bed bug armor. You hear a chuckle from an invisible source, and the sleeping bed bug disappears. Oh, Inner Bailey! You are now on a grassy strip between. I like that how that just changed too. You are now on a grassy strip between the castle, which can be entered to the south, and the moat. A young elm grows by the side of the moat. A causeway leads out into the moat to the northwest. A common earthworm is wriggling through the grass. You pick up the worm. It's a worm. Okay. All right, let's keep an eye out in case some, that paper flows by again. We'll try and grab it and check it out. Okay. I'm going to head northwest. You are on a peninsula of dirt and gravel which extends into the moat from the southeast. A tall Barbican tower. Tall, tower. A tall Barbican towers over the end of the causeway to the north. Hmm. West. Well, I say, let's go northwest. This dimly lit room is the bottom level of the gate tower, which guards the castle drawbridge. It lies at the tip of a peninsula into the moat. The rest of the peninsula is to the southeast. A drawbridge to the northwest is closed, and a ladder leads to an upper level. Hmm. Well then, I think I'm going to go up. The upper level is key to defending the outer perimeter of the castle, with its commanding view of the causeway, moat, and baileys. The floor is filled with murder holes for dropping heavy cannonballs onto unwanted visitors who penetrate as far as the Barbican Tower, Barbican's lower level, just below. A cast iron wheel is mounted in the center of the room. The only exit is a ladder leading down. You see a cannonball here. Hmm, don't think I'm going to need that cannonball. I'll turn the wheel. You hear a clattering, clanking noise from below. The drawbridge to the northwest is open, and a ladder leads to an upper level. Well then, let's head northwest. You are standing on a sturdy wooden drawbridge across a moat. The surface of the moat roils from the thrashing of countless ravenous beasts. The drawbridge runs from a tall barbican at the southeast to a wide meadow at the northwest. Well then. Well, let's make our way to that outer bailey then. So let's go northwest. Outer bailey. The open area is a rolling meadow extending from the moat to the distant perimeter fortifications. A drawbridge leads over the moat to the southeast, and roads lead northeast, southwest, and northwest. A mighty rotting tree stump spreads its roots across the bailey. Hmm. Okay, let's look southwest. Garrison. This is where the castle's armies were qu was quartered. The garrison fell into disuse as all known lands fell under the rule of the Flatheads. The army had little to do except quell an occasional tax revolt. In fact, the only evidence of the garrison is a rusty locker. A road leads northeast. Well, hmm. Now let's see what's in that locker. Opening the locker reveals a steel key and a poster of Ursula Flathead. Well, let's get the key. Look at poster, though. I want to see. The poster shows pinup model Ursula Flathead. Miss Mazzinia, 878GUE, in a typical suggestive pose and minimal cover. You bums, you couldn't give us the picture to look at? Ugh. 
Oh well. Let's go northeast. Alright, let's go northeast again. Bend. The road curves along the moat, turning southeast and southwest. Well, hmm. I think I better go southeast. Village Gate. To the east, a stone arch forms the entrance to the castle's village. The village lies outside the castle proper, but is still comfortably within the outer perimeter wall. Hmm. The arch is flanked by two medium-sized elms, one more gnarled than the other. The road passes under the arch. In the other direction, it follows the moat to the northwest. Well, let's head east. Oh, we'll find out what's over here. Shady Park. This grassy mall must have been a nice area at one time, but it is now overgrown with weeds and soiled by wind-blown litter. The shade comes from a mighty elm which spreads its thick green branches over the park. A wide east-west boulevard bisects the park, and impressive buildings flank it on the north and south. Hmm. Well, let's see what's to the north, huh? URS office. Ah, the huge hall was the main office of the Underground Revenue Service. Until the, of the Frobo's Co. building. It was the largest structure in the empire. Hmm. Here, thousands upon thousands of accountants and auditors once sat tabulating the proceeds from Dimwit's astronomical taxations. The only exit is south. A bookkeeper is hunched over one of the desks. He looks up at you enter, and you see that it is the jester, wearing suspenders, a bow tie, thick eyeglasses, and a green visor. You know, stereotypical bookkeeper. I once heard of a bookkeeper who, while working on the accounts of the Frobo's Magic Balloon Company, noted that the word balloon has two double letters in a row. <laughs> Stretching his lim limited imagination to the limit, this bookkeeper wondered if there were any words with three double letters in a row. He couldn't think of one. But I bet you that you can. Yeah, there is um, not many letters, words with three triple letters in a row. And we just see one here multiple times, if you're paying attention. A common mind puzzler. But the answer is bookkeeper. Two O's, two K's, and two E's. You hear a clink by your feet. You're fast as a bunny and right on the money. The jester yawns and says, Think I'll catch some winks. Nighty night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. As the jester vanishes, you hear the clicking of giant mandibles. Yep. We got the bed bug showing up again. Well, let's get the coin. You pick up the Zork mid coin. Okay. Now let's try and leave here. With a flurry of its powerful hairy legs, the bed bug scuttles over to block your way. That was all the bed bug needed to see. It curls up into a well-armed piece of sleeping bed bug armor. You hear a chuckle from an invisible source, and the sleeping bed bug disappears. So we're going to go south now and back in the shady park. And I think at this point, it's almost a half hour, we're going to save the game. save 
And here we're going to save it because this is a good point to stop for now. It's been a half hour. As always, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and check out some of the other playthroughs I'm playing through. Now, this is the Zork series, and most of these games have been pretty much text adventure. And I put on Verbo so you can at least see more than just the name pop by. As I work my way through this series. All right. Now, I'm also working my way through uh, Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventure, which is a very fun game to play. I'll give you that. It has a good amount of snark and humor in it. <laughs> And I am working my way through uh, the Monkey Island series right now. I'm on the final game in the franchise, which is Tales of Monkey Island. Which is also the Telltale chapter of the series. I am also working my way through games with Call of Cthulhu. The name currently working on Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. And I just got a fun weapon in that one, I'll tell you that. I am working my way, I do a bunch of runs through the game of Monstrum, and I am working my way through uh, other games out there. I mean, I'm working through Abduction, and I am working my way through the Space Quest series. It's basically a break from uh, <clears throat> Gabriel Knight 3, since I need to figure out how to get that game to properly work again. And, uh, let's see, one, two, and there are some other tiles I'm working on that you can check out on the channel. As always, I invite you to take care, have a good one. And if you do enjoy some of these classic games, I suggest you get them. I'm always post, you may, I may not say it, but I always post some links on where you can get these games in the description below. Anyhow, saving the game and take care, and until next time, take care and have fun. Bye.